friends. Today I want to show you how to make a cover for a little mini composition book. I bought these uh, composition books in packs of three at the dollar store. And um, and so they were $1.25, I think. Um, they have 50 sheets inside. They're a great little mini book just to write a note down, scratch, uh, scratch down a phone number, uh, make a quick grocery list, uh, what have you. They're perfect size for being in your, uh, for putting in your purse. So um, <clears throat> I want to, I want to cover the front of it and then I want to make the cover uh, for it also. Now this cover can um, be reused and you can slide a new composition book in any time uh, you need to. Um, but again, it's paper, it's gonna go in your purse or in your backpack, so it may not last as long um, as you know a couple um, different composition books, but it is reusable. And also the thicker cardstock you use, the more durable it's going to be. So let's go ahead and get started. So my mini composition book, I want to leave this little bit of, of black binding on it um, and I want it to stay showing. And so my mini composition book is about two and three quarters, yeah, two and three quarters um, wide by four and a quarter tall. Is that correct? Four and a quarter? Yeah. Um, yeah, four and a quarter. So two and three quarters by four and a quarter. So let's go ahead and cut this paper. Um, this paper is, I'm gonna cut it at four and a quarter first. I'm using my little personal trimmer from Creative Memories. I love this thing. By two and three quarters. And let me make sure that that's correct. Yes. Okay, let's move our scraps aside. And the, uh, excuse me, the mini composition book is, has rounded corners on these two edges. So I want to go ahead and round these before I put it on. I'm going to use my, uh, my quarter inch corner rounder and I'm going to round the corners on two sides. And then I'm just gonna fit that right here, perfect. And let's get some glue. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's set that aside. We'll let the top of this dry. I'm not gonna do the back because I just don't think that I need to. Um, it's not gonna show, so I'm not gonna do it. We need to get our scoreboard out and we need to score our cardstock. Now we're gonna score this. This cardstock was cut at 11 and a half inches by four and three quarters inches. So 11 and a half by four and three quarters. And we're gonna score it at one and a half. at five, at five and a quarter, and at eight and three quarters. And 
and that's all the scoring that we need to do. So now I'm going to go ahead and fold these up and make sure that we get it all nice and folded nicely. This card stock's pretty um, thick, so I'm gonna use my ruler just to kind of get it started. And I'm making sure that I'm lining everything up on top and bottom. And then we need to do this quarter of an inch. Thicker cardstock, it's a little more difficult to get those quarter of an inches in and folded right. So I'm just holding my ruler right up to that score mark and I'm using my folder, my bone folder to just move it into place. And then we have one more over here. Okay. This side here is where our book is going to go in. It's gonna go in right here like this. This side over here, I thought it would be really nice to have just a little bit of a pocket so you could slide in a receipt, um, somebody's business card, um, some extra tickets, or just anything little that you need to, to hang on to. I thought this would be a, a nice way to have a pocket right here. Now, if you don't want this pocket, take an inch and a half off of your full length. And um, so that would make it 10 inches by four and three quarters um, if you don't want the pocket. But I wanted the pocket. So I'm going to just glue up from the, um, from the fold line up to the edge on both sides, and then I'm just gonna fold it over and pinch it down. All right, so now we have a little pocket. Now, on this side, we need to also uh, glue. So we're going to glue just the edges now it looks like I'm using a lot, but um, I'm really not using a whole lot of glue. This is a good place to put glue instead of having um, uh, using a tape runner because you need to have um, you need to have a little bit extra stability. And with a tape runner, uh, when you are sliding your book in and out. It can get caught in the tape and here it will not get caught in the glue but let's just make sure that it all goes down well it is it's all fitting in very nicely okay all right so we're gonna leave that there now let's cover the front you can use uh, decorator paper designer paper already pattern paper uh, for the cover and then you don't have to do a whole lot of decoration but um, I wanted to try out this new, this card stock that I have that was a little heavier stock. And um, so I wanna 
go ahead and put some designer paper on. Now, I cut this page at three and a quarter by four and a half. Three and a quarter, four and a half. We can put this right on the front cover. There we go. And then this came with the paper set that I'm using which is uh, my mind's eye, and it is, let me see, here's the designer strip. Uh, it is the collectible. It's uh, several years old. Um, let me see if I can even see when it was, 2013, so 10 years old, 10 year old paper. Use what you have, and this is what I had. I found it in the back of my cabinet and thought, oh, that's really cute paper which I know that's what I thought when I bought it. Oh, that's really cute paper. But anyway, it came with these little cards to cut parts and um, I thought I would use these. I thought this was kind of neat. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday kind of goes along with, you know, taking a note or keeping keeping a, a little book in, um, in your purse. And so there we go. Let's put our book in. And it fits perfect. And I'm actually I'm going to push it out just a little bit so that it goes right over to our um, to our binder um, space. And there it is. Very nice, guys. I'm quite pleased with this. And we still have our pocket here um, to put anything we want in. And there we go. That was quite easy. Nice project for a few little bits of scraps. Thanks for watching. Please make sure that you like and follow my videos um, and, um, and hit that subscribe button. I have a goal for the end of the month to get to 100. And I would love to have you join me on my journey. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.